has been very charitably keeping the outside world up to date with um, details of what it's like to be one of nearly 3,000 passengers currently in, well, effectively in limbo in Hawaii's Yokohama Bay. This after, I think, 61 people aboard now have been found to, well, have tested positive for the coronavirus. And and I'm delighted to say that David joins me on the line now. Are are you all right? How are you getting on, David? (laughs) Hi, James. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Good. We're both doing good. I'm glad to hear it. So what's the daily experience for you now? How, How does your day unfold? It has changed dramatically since Monday. Uh, All passengers are confined to cabins. Those on the inside cabins have been released to walk on the upper deck for 90 minutes every day uh, because they've got no natural daylight in the cabins at all. They don't have fresh air. They've only got the air conditioning, and that really makes your throat dry, you know. Yeah. So uh, at least they can't do that every day because there are so many inside uh, cabins that I think about 50 a time are going up on the deck for 90 minutes. Then the captain comes on, exchanges those over. When we do get released onto the deck, uh, we have to wear face masks and we've been given rubber gloves, not plastic, rubber gloves, uh, not allowed to use the elevator unless you're elderly and infirm. And I mean, that's a good safety, yes. good precaution you know, not to have our skin touching handrails that others have used and so on. Um, so the day starts very early for us. They serve our breakfast about anything from 6.30 to 6.45 in the morning. And the food has really got better. <laughs> day one of quarantine, it was diabolical. I hadn't eaten for 16 hours. Now, I'm not complaining when I say it's diabolical, but I'm an insulin dependent right. diabetic. And it's really important that I have to have some food intake. And I hadn't eaten for 17 hours. So that was a really big uh, issue that was was. for me. Uh, But that's all sorted now. We're getting fed and watered at regular times. We're fortunate that we've got a balcony and we can open our door and go out and get the fresh air uh, whenever we want. So we're quite well off compared to many other passengers well i have to tell you that you are an inspiration to us all i I presume there have been moments in which you felt a little less calm than you currently do but your 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 sanguine delivery and your very philosophical and and charitable approach because of course they wouldn't have had any measures in place for dealing with something like this so the fact that you went without your snap for 16 hours is is, as you quite rightly observe it is forgivable but thank goodness they got their act together in time. Can I ask, yeah, a, sli- can I mean, I ask a slightly cheeky question? Do yeah. you mind? Go on. Uh, uh, yeah. did, did you and Sally have any words before you booked the cruise about whether it was worth splashing out extra for the balcony and the porthole? <laughs> uh, look, we are veteran cruisers. We oh, love our cruises. Right. So um, we always splash out I was on gonna say, an extra bit of luxury. That would be yeah. the mother of I told you so's, wouldn't it? If one of you had said, oh, I would, don't know, would, let's save the money would, for a new car or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, but I tell you what, the number of passengers that have come back to me and said uh, it hasn't put them off cruising, but they are definitely now never going to have an inside cabin again. (laughs) And I totally get that. I really do get it. Uh, It's worth the extra few (laughs) bob. Isn't it just? Well, um, well, where do you get your information from then? Is it coming over the tannoy or something like that? We get information from the captain when he is allowed to provide it. Okay. And this is what's one of the most frustrating things to me, mm. that I am getting my information from the media. I'm talking reliable media. Uh, the Japan Health Department, they issued early morning, just after our breakfast, a statement uh, telling us that 41 passengers were being taken off today. The captain was not allowed to re- release that information to the passengers. Can you believe that? He was not allowed to release it until Japan said it's okay to do so. Good grief. So, so you mean you're, you're, you're yeah. sort of drawing your information from wherever you can find it and not getting it from where, where you might most providing obviously expect? It's, providing it's reliable, I always check that the info I'm given is reliable information, that it's not fake news, as it were. Yes. And I publish it worldwide i noticed yeah you know, I mean, it's, it's a cracking little cottage industry you've got there david it's um it, 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 well and it's also I, uh, incredibly yeah. helpful for people like us yeah but i mean some folk have been saying to me how much am i getting paid for all these interviews i'm not 
getting a penny, except I understand your organisation is giving me a thousand pounds. Which needs to me. Apart from that, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the BBC, <laughs> mate. You're getting us mixed up with, uh, <laughs> with one, of the, one, 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 one of the breakfast shows. Um, I won't detain you for much longer because you got a lot going on clearly but the, the, what is that forgive me for the figure of speech is there light at the end of the tunnel do you know when you're likely to be um released and how often are you getting tested yourself now <laughs> you've used a good word, word there haven't released it sounds as if we are in prison and in many ways a floating we are, pr a floating are. prison uh, yeah uh it could be worse yeah of course Today, it could. but how often do they test you how often are you getting tested now they don't. We oh. we are now self testing from this afternoon. Right. So they've issued uh, thermometers, these digital thermometers, and if the temperature goes above thirty seven point five, we have to notify the medical department on board ship. Okay. Um. So I think I've got paranoid. I'm not usually cool. like this, but I'm taking my temperature about four times every hour. Well, you guys stir but crazy, today, David. There's a phrase for it, isn't yeah. it? It is. You, 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 you didn't tell me when you thought you might get. When you get to the end of this. Right. That's what I was just coming to. Yeah. Today, it's got a little bit darker. You know, you're talking about what is the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. It is definitely darker. Two of our friends that we've been having evening meals with for the first 15 days at the dining table, he's a Brit and he's been taken oh. off the ship. Today. His wife is on board. They're on the honeymoon. Can oh, you believe it? No, I can't. Um, so that has got a little bit gloomier. Yes. Indeed it has. And um, I, I so I've been told, by the way, that the 19th of February now is our release date. Good grief. Providing there are no other incidents. Now, oh. I'm not a negative person by any means, but it will not surprise me if we hear that there are more positive tests tomorrow. It wouldn't surprise me. So but, it's still know, all to play for. Well, we'll keep in touch and uh, watch this space. Before you go, I have to just tell you, quite a few of my listeners were a little... Um, Surprised to hear you say it hasn't put us off cruising. No, of course not. Why should it? Well, it's a very good question. Why should it? This has got nothing to do with cruising. This is just bad luck, isn't it? Yeah, it's really bad luck. You know, we're in the wrong place at the wrong time.